What's going on, everybody? Yeah, as you can see, Diddy's house gets raided. Now, I've been busy, but I've been keeping others. I wanna, so we're gonna do this, and then there's a, I guess, I think there's a video talk about the aftermath of it, or so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check this out. And we're gonna talk about the aftermath of everything and what this actually means. So, stop this right here. But this is crazy. And for those of you who don't know this, this got something to do with uh, some illicit actions taken by, supposedly taken by Diddy. But the video will explain what those actions are. So we're going to check this out and just uh, see what happens, man. Yeah, this this is crazy. Yeah, make sure everything's correct. Let's get that jump right into it. Breaking news. The Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. Let's bring in CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Josh, uh, let me start with you. What do these uh, raids by federal agents in multiple locations tell you about the seriousness of this investigation? Yeah, Wolf, a very significant development here, seeing this law enforcement action taking place. I'll uh, point out, just to be clear at the outset, we don't know that Sean Diddy Combs himself is the subject or target of a federal investigation. So it's just worth pointing that out at this hour. But what we do know is that two properties associated with him, uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents, both here in the Los Angeles area, as well as in uh, Miami at those residences. Now, the Department of Homeland Security, their uh, what's called H. HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, gave CNN a statement. I'll read you part of that when asked uh, about what this activity is. They say that earlier today, HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. That is it, confirming that they are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted there, uh, could indicate arrests being conducted. We just don't know at this hour specifically what that law enforcement action is. It is worth pointing out, though, that Combs himself obviously has faced uh, significant legal woes in recent months. I'll give you just a, a kind of a high, the highlights of what uh, actually occurred uh, in November. He was sued for rape and abuse by a former partner. That Ooh. settle uh, that lawsuit was unsettled very quickly. But in December, he faced sexual assault allegations in a complaint filed in the Southern District of New York. The suit was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe, who said that uh, she was 17 at the time when these oh allegations uh, took place. And back in 2003, uh, he was accused of sex trafficking and gang rape, among other allegations, also in that suit, naming two of his associates. Of course, Combs denied any wrongdoing there. And then just last month, a former employee of Combs filed a suit also uh, in the state of New York accusing him of sexual assault, of sexual harassment, and, quote, grooming. That former employee stated that he had worked for Combs between 2022 and 2023. Among those allegations, this former employee, a male employee, said that Combs did not compensate him for his music production work and forced him to procure and interact with sex workers, threatened him with serving alcoholic beverages laced with drugs to guests at parties at Combs' home. And then uh, Combs' uh, son, Sean Justin Combs, or uh, his son, Justin Justin Combs was also accused of soliciting prostitutes and underage girls at his father's homes. Again, the Combs have denied any wrongdoing, but just a series of allegations that we've seen taking place. Final point, Wolf, I'll note is that while we don't know the specific allegations or why the feds are at these residences, it is worth pointing out the agency that is conducting this law enforcement activity. It's not the FBI. It's not the DEA or the ATF. This is HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. For those unfamiliar, this is an agency that is long been the forefront specifically at human trafficking investigations. So although we don't have the specifics yet, uh, we're starting to, to you know, we, we can glean just based on which agency has the lead, the direction this might go. Uh, but again, we don't yet know that Combs himself was the target of the investigation. Well, we do know that at this hour that federal agents were at two of his homes, both here in Los Angeles and in Florida, Wolf. Yeah, important points. And Joey Jackson, now let me repeat, we don't know if Sean Diddy Combs himself 
is under investigation. But clearly, Joey, it's not good if your homes are actually being raided. No, it's not, Wolf. And I think, uh, you know, whatever conclusions can be drawn remain to be seen, right? There's not an indictment that we're talking about. That means that we're not speaking of a grand jury having rendered a conclusion, not as to guilt, that's not what grand jurors do, but as to reason to believe that a crime was committed and he committed them. Having said that, whenever you have a raid and an investigation, these things need to be really predicated upon, right, the precursor for this to happen would be some probable cause. Uh, What is that probable cause? We don't know. But let's go back to what Josh Campbell talked about, which are those various lawsuits. Now, lawsuits are civil actions in nature. They're not criminal at all. But what they do is they give authorities some guidelines and guideposts with respect to alleged conduct that was engaged in with regard to who it was engaged in, what activities there were, what it involved. And so that, if there's an investigation, could serve as a source of plentiful information. That information could be further investigated, right, by certainly uh, the, this Homeland Security Agency. And as a result of that, they can work with their local law enforcement partners. What does that mean? It means that they, collectively law enforcement, try to determine whether there's reason to believe that crimes were committed and, you know, were those crimes carried out uh, and associated in any way we don't know. Uh, you know, with Sean Combs. And so that remains to be seen. But before authorities will can get into the home or property of anyone, you have to establish some some firm basis to do that. And that is what at least we can conclude, that they had reason to believe that there were crimes involving sex trafficking, apparently, and that these areas potentially can give more information with respect to the specifics. And I think they would be looking for computer devices and other devices, which would seem to indicate or give information as to whether there was any criminality very early in the process. But certainly we know that these have been carried out and we'll see what, if any, information is gleaned to be suggestive of any criminality. Very interesting. Josh, let me get back to you. You know the FBI very well. Under what circumstances would raids like these be conducted? Well, this would require, if it is indeed a search that's being conducted, it would require federal officers, in this case with Homeland Security Investigations, going to a judge and seeking a warrant, indicating that we believe uh, that evidence of a a crime uh, could be located in these residences. And then this third party, an independent judge, has to uh, approve that warrant. And then you see take place what's happening now on our screen. I particularly want to focus on, you see that uh, large uh, RV-looking vehicle there. This is the, the mobile command post that federal agencies will send whenever they're going to be somewhere, uh, likely for a long time. I mean, if you look at these residences, we're talking about very large estates. And so, as Joey was mentioning, something as simple as a thumb drive or uh, anywhere where uh, electronic media could be stored, if it's on that warrant, authorities can search that residence top to bottom looking for any type of device, any type of storage uh, mechanism that fits within the four corners of that search warrant. Now, again, again, I'll caution, we don't know specifically why they were there, uh, uh, it does tell us, I think, that you know, just because you see that large posture of all of these federal uh, vehicles that are there, including this mobile command post, this was uh, likely not something as simple as an arrest, where you show up and you t- you you know find a person that you're seeking, uh, but likely more in- along the lines of a search warrant, which falls in line with what HSI told us in that statement when they say law enforcement actions. Uh, that's you know something that we often hear from federal agents as a euphemism for uh, conducting some type of search. Uh, but again, both of these residences, both where I am, am here in LA, it's just a few miles here uh, from the CNN and LA Bureau where this search is taking place. Also in Miami, you see this large cadre of federal agencies uh, descending oh, on those Los homes. Angeles. And the big question now, what are they looking for? We're waiting for specifics on that uh, as this uh, search continues. And Joey, uh, video shows also shows heavily armed agents entering Diddy's home. How unusual is that? So it's not unusual. I mean, I think that what law enforcement does is certainly they want to be protective of themselves, uh, potentially to deter any type of uh, activity that could occur of a criminal variety. Not that there would be any, but you never know. 
And so as a result of that, once they are armed, not only armed literally, but armed with respect to a warrant, uh, you know, that would Look at those suggest tanks. that they have reason to be there. Oh, that there's criminality you know, that would be afoot. Uh, you, Potentially, uh, they go, uh, law enforcement say you does, and they make sure that the area is secure uh, such that they can get any information these. from that warrant so that they can continue to investigate. Very important to note, Wolf, that these are investigative stages. Wow. Warrants are typical in any type of investigation, right? This is the United States of America. Everyone has rights. But you don't get into someone's home without establishing that there may be some what we call indicia of criminality. They now, law enforcement, will evaluate whatever they find in connection with this search. And if that search bears fruit with respect to any potential criminality on any computer devices, any cell phone devices, any you know th thumb drives or anything else, then they will connect the dots. And if it's appropriate, they'll move to the next level. And that could lead to something more serious. Again, all speculation at this point. But we know now that they certainly had enough information to be in California that's and the, Miami. What that's the crazy that part. Remains to be seen. They actually had right, Joey information Jackson, Josh Campbell, to both of you. To do you this. Very, they had very enough much. credible information. That's crazy, man. Gina has reached out to representatives for calls for comment. That's crazy. Like, come on, man. That's that's crazy. All right. Give me a one sec. We're about to see if we could, if there's a reason. I thought there was an aftermath. All right. So, sorry for that weird cut because, I, like I said, I wanted to do not only the reaction to the raid, but its aftermath. So it was a cut just because had it took a minute for me to find a video. So we're gonna check this one out. This is the aftermath now of Diddy's home being raided. All right, uh, take a look at this. A brand new video showing the aftermath of Monday's raids on the LA and Miami homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs as part of an ongoing federal human trafficking investigation. Our next guest previously defended Mr. Combs in 2015, where serious felony charges were dropped. Attorney Mark Argos joins us live right now. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning to you too. So what do you think's going on? Well, I think clearly the feds have uh, taken notice of the kind of raft of lawsuits that have been filed. They're using those as a roadmap. And uh, my the cynic in me would say that they aren't getting witnesses cooperating the way they want. And so this is a great way to kind of uh, deliver a shock and awe uh, uh, message to anybody connected with Sean that this is, uh, we're serious and we're coming after him and you better cooperate or you're gonna be left in the wake. By, by the way, this is almost warp speed when it comes to the feds in terms of when they open an investigation and when they do this kind of a search. Right, and Mark, as you know, this particular unit that uh, did the raids, they're in charge of human trafficking crimes. So do you connect those two? Yes, I uh, I don't think that there's any doubt in my mind, at least, that uh, that their homeland security is leading the charge here, and that the allegations would seem to mirror uh, exactly what has been alleged in a couple of these lawsuits. Right. So, like I. Uh, I've said before, and I, I they've taken a look at the lawsuits. They're using that as a roadmap, and and they're uh, engaging in this kind of activity to claim to want to freeze his, his electronics. I think his lawyer, and I think you mentioned you may have the statement, I think I his do. lawyer came back and has complained bitterly about it. Well, uh, perfect transition. Let me read the uh, attorney's a statement, they say, yesterday there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way its children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any family members have been arrested, nor has his ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated
presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every day to clear his name. To, and in that, uh, Mark, the lawyer does mention these uh, other lawsuits, and, and you, rather, you mentioned uh, one of the lawsuits. One of them came, I believe it was last November, uh, and it was Sean Combs's former girlfriend, Cassie, who, among other things, alleged rape and things like that. That was settled, I think, within a day or two after filing it, but it had to do with the deadline, didn't it? Yes, the, New York had this kind of unique look-back statute, the Adult Sexual Survivors Act. On the eve of that expiring, the lawsuit was, uh, they mediated it and then settled it right on the eve of that expiration. That kind of triggered some of these other lawsuits that also jumped on right after the fact. But I think his lawyer's got a point. And, I, and it's obvious, at least anybody who does this for a living, that those were kind of the uh, the scripts from which the uh, the Department right. of Justice is singing on these lawsuits. In addition to representing Sean Combs, uh, you also, back in the day, represented uh, Lyle and Eric Menendez, who are the subject of a brand new Fox Nation special called Victims or Villains. Here's a snippet where a juror talks about the defense. Testimony of all the family members for the defense um, made a huge impression upon me that they were supporting Lyle and Eric. As soon as Jose took either one of the boys into their room, the door was locked behind him. And Mark, uh, you're part of this special, but one of the things you have been talking about is these rulings, these convictions should be overturned because they should argue they defended themselves in self-defense. Yeah, what happened here is in the first trial, uh, they had two separate juries, uh, one for Lyle, one for Eric. Okay, I don't Those think juries this is... overwhelmingly found it was not a murder case. Do this guy even pertain to Diddy at all at this point? Nah, I guess not. All right. Well, that's it. You know, see that that's it. That's they talk about uh something else now, but wow. That's just crazy, man. That's crazy. Ah, uh, I don't know. I you know, I've been saying this since this came to light. I've been saying this like these people like you know these celebrities they get this money they get this power and they 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 live in this world that's not like ours we have to obey a certain law and if we do it we get the book thrown at us so many things happen to us you know we get the a certain penalty all that but it seemed like people could get it in that world you could get away with it a lot before it finally action is taken not saying that, you know, obviously, you know, Diddy's not getting away with it if he's guilty, but how do it go this long before, you know? Like, I, I know this is not on the same level, but Will Smith being able to smack Chris Rock and nothing happens to him, but if I go try to smack Chris Rock or I just go smack a random person on the street, I'm going to jail immediately. They're not going to ask that person what they want to do. They're going to take me to jail immediately. But yet, they got different sets of rules. They can actually do that and just be like, you know, well, what are we going to do? Like, why did it take this long? Everybody knew about R. Kelly. Why did it take this long? And now all this, this allegations against uh, uh against Diddy, why did it take, why, why did they, you know, why this long, you know? I don't know. It's crazy. I'm going to keep myself updated on it. And uh, any further news or actions, you know, I'll be doing, I'll do my, re my reactions to. And yeah, this, this is crazy, man.
I don't know what to say about this, guys, but uh, but that this is crazy, and that they live they live in a different world. They justice do come eventually, but I I believe you know I don't believe people like them like, and when I say people like them, I don't believe celebrities, politicians. I don't believe nobody should be above the law, but that's not the world we live in. You let me know in the comments down below what you thought, and if you enjoy my reaction to this, you know what to do. You hit this button right there for all of my season three reactions. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I got to have my outro music. I don't got my music on, guys. I'm sorry. You know I got to have that, that music on. There we go. Um, yeah. Bro, my, like I said, that for my reaction and your videos come on the front kind of do it with button and as always hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content on uh, yeah I got another news one coming up after this and then we're gonna get to that bad boy uh trailer so yeah peace